Hello guys, I am Vincent Luis Garcia, the leader of Group 2. Today, for our topic, we are going to discuss about the common illnesses and ailments that are encountered after engaging with outdoor recreational activities. The topic outline of this presentation will be the ailments and the illnesses definition, second, the common ailments and illnesses experience after outdoor activities, Third is the first aid and remedies, and of course, the references. So let's start. First, what are the objectives of this report? The first objective is to identify the common illnesses and ailments that may be experienced after engaging with outdoor activities. And second, learn the first aid and remedies regarding these ailments and illnesses. So first, let us determine what is the definition of this ailment and illness. So ailments is a bodily disorder or chronic disease. So its example is the stomach ailment, the heart ailments, something like those. And it is also defined as unrest, uneasiness, or an emotional ailment. Second is the illnesses. Illnesses naman is defined as a disease or period of sickness affecting the body or mind. Like he died for after a long illness. So these are the definitions found on the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Now that we are already aware what is the definition of ailments and illness, let us now tackle the common ailments and illnesses that are experienced by people who are engaging with outdoor recreation activities. First is the fever. Temperature below 38 degrees Celsius or 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit is considered as a low-grade fever. On the contrary, Another kind of fever is the high-grade fever, which is the, t the body temperature reaches 102 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius. Now, what are the emergency points that should be observed? First, if the patient is already unresponsive. Second, having difficulty breathing. Third, lips turning bluish and experiencing convulsions or seizures and or it seems to be confused. And lastly, sudden onset rashes. Now what are the first aid or remedies that should be done when a person is suffering from fever? For the low-grade fever, it does not require you to do anything much except to let the person drink a lot of fluid and rest. And you can also let him intake over-the-counter medicines such as paracetamol, ibuprofen, or acipenomphen so that the temperature can be lowered. On the other hand, in the high-grade fever, the patient must take oral medicine, increase fluid intake, and give a sponge bath to lower the fever. Overdressing will make the temperature higher, thus light clothes should be worn. If experiencing chills, Cover the patient with blankets until it goes away. Now let us go with headache. So headache is commonly or often the experience in trekking and hiking due to the lack of eye protection from the sun's ray, tension in the neck, dehydration, swelling of brain tissue due to excessive sweating over a period of days, and consumption of large amounts of water without taking salt tablets. So paracetamol, ibuprofen, or aspirin can be taken to stop further more discomfort. Headaches should also not be ignored as it may be a symptom of something else or something much worse. Next is illness in the altitude or mountain sickness. So this happens because the rate of ascent into higher altitude outspaces the body's ability to adjust to those altitudes. So the body was not able to increase in ventilation to compensate for the low level of oxygen in higher altitude. So trigger factors can be ascending too quickly, overexertion in ascent, inadequate fluid intake, hypothermia, and alcohol consumption. So altitude sickness may range from mild to life-threatening situation. High altitude pulmonary edema or shape and the high altitude cerebral edema or haze are life threatening. So, HAPE means uh, fluids accumulate in the lungs and make breathing extremely difficult. This can lead to respiratory collapse and ultimately death. Next is haze. Haze is the buildup of fluid in the brain, causing swelling and changes in the 
person's mental state. If a person with HAPE exhibits the following, the following, emergency treatment should be sought. So the first is shortness of breath, even at rest, and tight and experiences of tightness in the chest. Next is gurgling, gurgling or rattling breath, cough with frothy pink sputum, lips or fingernails turning bluish, respiratory failure, and even drowsiness. So, first aid for these illnesses is if symptoms are severe, immediately descend to 1,500 to 2,000 feet with minimal exertion as possible. Keep going down until symptoms go away. So, if symptoms are mild, the person should not go any higher until the symptoms are completely gone. And lastly, treat symptoms, give the person oxygen if available, keep him warm, give him rest, give him plenty of liquids, and give him pain relievers. Another ailment is hyperthermia. It's a condition where the body produces or absorbs heat more than it can dissipate. It may be caused by an increase in air temperature, solar or reflected radiation, poor ventilation in protein, low fitness level, and excess bulk, or the reduced ratio of skin area to the body mass. Heat drops, heat stroke, or heat exhaustion may occur when a person is suffering from hyperthermia. Heat drops usually happens when you have the activity in hot environments. This happens with the losses of humic excessive lactic acid or a loss of urine and electrolyte through perspiration. What must be done? Go down and replenish lost electrolyte through pierced core skins. Gently stretch and massage affected muscle area. Do not resume the strenuous activity and rest until the pumps go away. Take a salt pill with water at the start of a specific muscle pain. Heat exhaustion occurs when water is not sufficient for the body's demand in a particular outer heat. The body becomes irritated and salt depleted. This result is to say a weakness, a weak rapid pulse, and also with the skin. It requires first aid similar to the one administered in heat cups. Heat stroke is the most serious degree of hyperthermia. Emergency should be solved when the person is loses consciousness, become disoriented, pulse rate suddenly become fast, seizures, has warm, red, dry skin, and body temperature above 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and last, reduce sweating. Do the following first aid while help is on the way. Remove the person from heat exposure and cool him or her by whatever means available, such as putting cloth sheets, spraying cold water, and applying cold red cloth or ice pack to the armpit, neck, and groin. Fat air to increase skin. Do not put the person at a clean to drink if the person is not alert or vulnerable. Treat the symptoms. If seizures, keep the person safe from injury. If vomiting, turn the person on the side. Meanwhile, the opposite of hyperthermia is hypothermia, occurs when the body chills faster than the body's ability to produce heat due to exposure to cold, wet, or windy weather, not taking enough energy producing food, and not having proper clothing speeds up hypothermia, generally occurs in temperatures of less than 35 degrees Celsius. Symptoms of hypothermia include numbness, uncontrollable shivering that muscles begin to stiffen and become un uncoordinated, skin turns bluish, pulse and respiration slows down, and patient does not respond to becomes unconsciousness. First aid must be administered quickly. Move the person to sheltered area and the storm warm or slowly. Remove wet clothes and replace them with dry clothes. Wrap with blankets or sleeping bag. Exhale warm air near the vicinity of the patient's mouth and nose. Do not immerse the person in warm water. This can cause heart arrhythmia. Find ways to keep the victim conscious. Begin CPR if necessary and continue until emergency personnel arrive. Emergency should be sought with the person Shows confusion, memory loss, or slurred speech. Body temperature drops below 35 degrees Celsius. 
loss of consciousness, shallow breathing. Hi everyone, my name is Yunili Inano Tribunalo. Lastly, we have the diving related answers. A. Barotrauma is a serious injury that can occur because of pressure differences between the body's air filled cavities in the water. If one is having trouble equalizing the air and the air trap in the middle of the air cannot escape. The resulting ruptured air drum would be considered to be form of barotrauma. The eyes, lungs, paranasal sinuses, skin, brain, teeth, and other body parts may also be affected. Majority of the air pain focuses the diver to abort the dive. Symptoms are often resolved shortly after the diver reaches the surface. Emergency should be sought when the person shows disorientation, vomits, and hearing loss which shows ruptured eardrums. Rush to the nearest medical facility. Decompression, DCS, is a serious deep water diving related injury. It happens when divers fail to follow prescribed dive profiles. It can also happen after a rapid ascent. Emergency should be sought when the symptoms appear rapidly and the person exhibits the following. Unconscious, dizziness, trouble breathing, abnormal walk or weakness. This can be prevented if the diver follows the dive plan and performs the compression stops designed by the dive master. DCS occurs between the dissolved gases in the blood are not given enough time to pass through our system. Thank you. So that's it guys for our report. I hope you learned a thing or two and we thank you for accompanying us in this journey. Be safe, be vigilant, and always be ready. Goodbye! Harurut! Naharurut ko kayo. Ano? Nasalim na ano? So pa kayo? Go!